watching. I'm out again today at a local park that I've been to a lot and it is just beautiful out. There's a really thick fog that's hanging around. It's supposed to get warm again today, 54, um, but it got really cold last night and the water from the Farmington River is probably still ice cold so it's creating this thick layer of fog that's just hanging on. It's creating a really nice atmosphere. And I'm keeping my eyes out for a barred owl because I actually saw one a couple days ago right in this area. And in this kind of weather, they will actually be out hunting. Uh, contrary to popular belief, barred owls are not strictly nocturnal, so they'll definitely be out in this kind of weather. It's still dark definitely dark enough for them to be hunting so let's see what we can find my main goal today is to end up down by the reservoir to see if I can get any pictures of some waterfowl I was down there the other day and there were some uh, mallards hooded mergansers uh, as well as Canada geese and I found a good spot that hopefully still has a bank uh, we got some rain last night and pretty much all day yesterday so I'm hoping the water level hasn't risen too much that the spot where I was going to sit is no longer there but with how dense the fog is I'm actually gonna take a quick loop through kind of a wetland area there's uh, been some pretty frequent deer activity there, and I'm hoping that maybe some deer will be out still foraging in this weather. It'd be a really nice atmosphere to take some pictures of some deer. So I'm gonna take a quick loop there, and then end up down by the reservoir, and hopefully see something. I'm hoping that the fog isn't too thick, that I can hopefully see some waterfowl. my way to the reservoir now. I finished the loop. Didn't see anything other than gray squirrels running around. But the fog's starting to lift and I've heard a lot of Canada goose down in the reservoir. So I'm making my way there. I'm just taking a quick break here, pausing to kind of cool off a little bit. Um, it's really increasing. The temperature is really increasing. And my heavy jacket, which is going to be nice to wear, when I'm sitting still, it's making me hot, so I'm just trying to cool off here quick. I don't want to get sweaty and then end up sitting because that sweat is going to make me really cold really quick.
down to the reservoir. I am almost to the spot, but hopefully there's still a bank. So I'm gonna put on my camouflage for waterfowl. You really have to be still and camouflaged. Otherwise they're very skittish. They know, they're very aware of things around them. So I'm gonna put on my camouflage. So hopefully they will notice me if they do come and we'll see what happens. everything set. So now I'm going to go over to the bank and see what happens. Okay, so I'm in my spot. And there's actually more bank now than there was over the weekend, so that's nice. I have more spot to sit. There aren't any ducks here now. Well, actually, there's, a, there's quite a few mallards across the way. But there's none directly around my spot, which is actually nice. Because that means I didn't scare anything. Which is good so hopefully things will come back or hopefully things will come over this way since I didn't flush anything out as I moved here so now it's just time to wait sitting here for about a half hour now. And there's a uh, kingfisher about a hundred yards on my side of the bank to my left. And there was a great blue heron there as well. And they're both fishing. And the kingfisher was kind of pestering the heron to get it to leave. And the heron eventually flew off. But I didn't realize the heron had flown. Because <laughs> it was flying straight towards me. And if I, I didn't have this branch in front of me, I would have gotten an amazing pictures of it. But that's what happens. Okay, so it was actually a second blue heron that flew past me because the other one is still there and it actually just flew towards me. It's probably about 50 yards away from me now on my side of the bank. So I'm going to hope that it keeps coming this direction. I'm going to try to get into position.
of kingfishers that keep chasing one another and flying low along the water. They're about 200 yards away from me. Oh, I see them flying again. They're still flying away. I'm hoping that they'll come back towards me. That seems to be where the kingfishers are and where the herons hang out. Another one just flew over that direction. And the kingfishers aren't there right now, so I'm going to try to get in position before they come back. And hopefully I'll be ready for them when they come back. I just need to find a good spot that I can actually see and hopefully get low to the water. I made it down the bank a little bit farther. There's not any really good spots to sit, but I found a, a pretty decent opening. It's not great, but it's decent, and I'm probably about 100 feet or so away from where it had been perching on in the branch in the water. Now I just need to wait, and hopefully the kingfisher will come back. Pictures came and perched on the tree just to the left of the log that it had been perching on. So I got some pictures of it, but it wasn't where I had hoped it was going to land. But it dove down, caught a fish, and then flew a little bit ways farther down the bank. So it's still in the area. So hopefully it'll come back and maybe perch on this branch this time. of it. It's still not on the log that I, or that the stick, it's more of a stick than a log, that's in the water that I'm hoping it's going to land on. Um, but it just flew across the river to the farther bank. I can see it. But there is a second one that's back there somewhere as well, so I'm hoping that maybe they will start chasing each other again like they were before, and they might come back over this way. So, just gonna continue sitting and waiting and hoping for the best.
Kingfisher is still on the far side of the bank. So I did a little recon, went down this way on the brook, and I found another spot that I'm gonna go and set up while it's still over there. It's been sitting there for a while, so I think it's napping. Um, but it's a little ways down, and it gives me a clear shot of the stick that I have been focused on and also I hear the kingfisher again there's a second one in front of me somewhere I'm gonna move quick before it comes back I'm in the other spot now The other kingfisher is still calling just to my left. So, I don't know. We'll see if this works. Just still waiting. I hear it calling across the reservoir. Pretty much directly across from me right now. It's just a matter of time before it comes back over to this perch. The kingfisher is directly across from me, across the reservoir. It's perched up on a log, and it actually just caught a fish. Which might be good, because it's actually moving around now. I think it was taking a nap for the past hour or so. The kingfisher flew back over on this side of the brook. down this way I have to cross over a really sloppy muddy section and if I'm gonna do that I don't want to have to do it twice to come back and get my bag so I'm headed back over there now I think I know where the kingfisher is. I think it's on a tree that I saw perched on earlier this morning. But I guess we'll find out when we get over there. Unfortunately, no luck with the kingfisher over at the other spot. I walked slowly down to where I thought it was going to be perched and it was not there and I didn't hear it fly so it may have flown before I even got close to it. But I still got some good shots of it and now I know another spot where it has some good perches and where it often kind of hangs out. So I'll definitely be coming back here again. But I think that's gonna be it for me today. Um, making my way out. It's already uh, pretty late in the afternoon so I was sitting there for a couple hours. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time.